Guys, welcome to our down streaming series. I promise you that this series, wow, it's going to be very comprehensive. And by the end of this series, guys, wow, you're going to be able to become a down streaming ninja. Now, I'm going to put this up for you guys here. What you're seeing on the screen is our house washing system. Step number one, connect to water supply. Number two, home and plant protection, something you see us do a lot uh, when we're out in the field. Number three, you're going to do a walkthrough. Number four, the five around, of course. You guys hear me talk about this all the time, marketing, picking up the neighbors when you guys are out there actually doing the jobs. Number five is when uh, we're actually doing the house itself. We're going to spray our hot sauce, then rinse it off. Number six, this is when we get the client and do a final walkthrough with them. And then finally, number seven, number seven is we collect payment and then finally number eight we ask for that awesome five star google review don't worry guys i am going to uh, throughout this series we're going to be talking a lot about this house washing system you don't have to write this down right now because basically every single one of these episodes that we're going to be doing out in the field together is going to be about the the, the eight step approach this system house washing system so you guys can get out there because remember guys it's all about that quality of service gonna help you tremendously out there with uh, your branding also uh these th these videos are going to be a little bit longer than most of my videos because guys there's very going to be very little editing it's going to be all with the gopro because i want you guys right there i want you guys inches away from that wall with me i want you guys to feel like you're washing that house with me and then so you know i'm not doing any time lapse video or anything like that and then also in this intro i'm going to show you guys how i make my house washing mix so i'm going to use this same intro for all the videos because you know otherwise it's going to get very 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 boring for you guys because it's going to be repetitive but all you got to do is copy this formula exactly of course if you want to know more about the chemicals and everything that we use watch episode 10 but i'm going to show you guys today how i batch mix my house mix my house mix now most of you guys like 95 percent of you guys are going to be batch mixing when you batch mix it just means that you are actually pre-making the the house solution that you're going to need for that day and what i recommend you guys as new guys is you're you're going to be about you're going to need about 10 gallons of mix per house so if you have three houses to wash that day i would recommend you make about 30 gallons of mix and then also as a new guy do not make mix for multiple days i recently had one of you guys reach out to me and said that you you had pre-made your house mix for two weeks that's a big mistake because you know uh, uh this uh sh guys it does not last forever it loses strength so you want to make sure that you're making your mix no no later than let's say no more than two or three days at a time so the mix you make for monday should last you m monday tuesday maybe by wednesday you're making new mix so let's get into this now in order to make your mix you're going to need one of these it doesn't have to be metal like mine this is a cooking cup okay a measuring cup you're just going to order that on amazon it costs like i think i paid like five bucks or six bucks for this uh i i chose metal just because you know i drop stuff all the time and i don't want it to break but anyway so this is what i refer to when i'm telling you a cup so a cup of surfactant now the surfactant i use right here you can see it is snot monade i mentioned this I don't even know how many times now if you use a different uh, surfactant that's fine okay if you lose eliminator or southern draw from cody that's fine as long as you are using a professional commercial grade surfactant again the one that i use is snotmanade we order this in like five gallon pails i have probably right now here at the shop about 40 or 50 gallons of this stuff so here you go so when you're going to batch mix this is a 55 gallon vertical tank now today we're going to be downstreaming four houses okay four houses so i'm going to make 30 gallons now here's the thing i only actually need about 25 gallons that's really what i rock that's really what i take out into the field with me on a daily basis is about 25 gallons of of pre-made mix 
you guys are going to need a little bit more like I explained, but I always like to take a little bit extra because six, seven out of 10 times, I'm picking up neighbors. So you guys got to take that into account. In your case, I am using my hose here, my transfer pump hose, but in you guys' case, you're actually going to carry like the, the gallon jugs. Make sure that you carry a little bit extra with you in case you miscalculated and you need to make some mix on a fly. And then also if you pick up the neighbor, okay? So anyway, I've already put in this tank right here in the back here, I've already put 15 gallons of SH. Remember SH guys stands for sodium hypochlorite, AKA bleach. Now, you're going to make what's called a 50 50 mix so that means that the mix is going to be half water and half bleach in my case here i am making 30 gallons of pre-made mix mix batch mixing okay so i've already put in this in this tank right here guys the tank was was bone dry so what i did already is i put 15 gallons of sh in here okay you guys got that it's got 15 gallons of sh i need 30 gallons so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna fill this up all i gotta do is turn this on right here you guys can see here look nothing but water you see that now i'm running nothing but water and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on screen right here but i got a little black line here where my where my hand is anyway that's the the 30 gallon mark right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is very important, your surf, so your surfactant, you're going to put a cup for every 10 gallons, okay? A cup for every 10 gallons. Actually, really easy math, right, guys? So you see me here, look. Again, this is snot manade, cherry-scented snot manade. So there you go. One, that's one cup. Two, two right here. I love this stuff, guys. Uh, the, the reason why I don't use a lemonator is because to me, a lemonator smells too much like bleach. And this right here, oh man, guys, if you guys get the cherry scented, oh man, guys, it smells like, like uh, cherry Kool-Aid. You guys remember drinking Kool-Aid as kids? So anyway, that's my third right there. And that's it right there, guys. So remember, you're using a cup, a measuring cup for every 10 gallons of mix. So if I was making 50 gallons, it would be five cups. If I was making 20 gallons, it'd be two cups. If I was making 25 gallons, it'd be two and a half cups. If I was making 35 gallons, it would be three and a half cups. So that's super easy. And then you gotta, oh, I'm about, guys, I'm about like half an inch away from reaching my, my mark here of 30 gallons and my mix is done. So I'm gonna hold this right here. Again, look, just water. And this is what's called a 50-50, and that's it, that's done. So there you have it, guys. This is the same mix. Now, in the, on this truck, I have a roof pump, and I can transfer, I have a metering system, and I can transfer chem uh, chemicals as needed. But of course, you guys starting out, you're not gonna have that. 98, 99% of you guys are gonna be batch mixing, and that's how you, you're, you're gonna do it, guys. 50-50 mix, half water, half bleach, and then you're going to put one cup of surfactant for every 10 gallons of mixture. And then the final thing I'm going to leave, leave you with is this. If you are getting your bleach at Walmart or Home Depot, you're going to run that straight. You guys got that? If you're getting at Home Depot or, or Lowe's, you're going to run that straight because you cannot trust what that ratio says on a bottle. More, more likely, if it says 10% or 11% or 12%, whatever it says on a bottle, Expect it to be a lot less than that because again guys you don't know how long that's been sitting in a warehouse somewhere right my sh gets delivered to me every monday fresh we and then that whole week we go through five six hundred gallons of sh and then on monday they deliver another five six hundred gallons for me so we're always using brand spanking new fresh sh so i guys i recommend you guys I, I do that. You're going to run it straight if you're getting it from Lowe's or Home Depot. But if you're getting commercial grade SH, like from a, a chemical supply company or maybe a, um, a pressure, washing, pressure washing supply company, something along those lines where you know your SH is really good and it's strong, then you're going to want to cut it because you'll be spraying two, 
like chemical that is too strong and then plus you're going to be going through a lot of chemicals so there you have it guys this is how i make my mix guys i do not change my mix for nothing this is how every single one of my trucks goes out every day and 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 we use the same mix remember quality comes from consistency guys so get out there work this system and make sure that above everything else you do it exactly as i tell you because you're going to be able to reach that same quality as well now let's get out there and wash some houses Okay guys, let's do a quick walk around here to show you what it is that we got going on. Of course, we already did home and plant protection. That's what this bag is here for. You see all the tape down here is your uh, your various internet and, and cable boxes. And this right here, by the way, I don't know if you guys would know this. This is actually a landline box. So we tape that up as well. Of course, you know, um, you guys that are following along with the series, one of the most important parts of the system that we're working is home and plant protection. We're going to be downstreaming this house now. The customer also wants to do the concrete work here, including the driveway, uh, but I'm going to do that off camera. As always, make sure, guys, that you tape up the ring camera. And I want to show you something here. This one's interesting. Look, guys, that's an electrical outlet. You see that? That one was hard to find because it blended with the rocks right there so make sure you guys are playing you know paying close attention and of course you see all the plants guys all of these plants right here especially your hostas they're all on our our plant list to look out for you know uh very finicky with the with the solution so we need to make sure that at the very end we rinse this properly and then we're also going to do this driveway and the walkway and there's a tiny little uh, basement stairwell that i'm going to show you here in the back and uh, you see here now this is uh, like a um, vanilla siding but you can see right here all the way up it's hard to see because of the color of the siding but there's a lot of algae a little bit of mildew here growing on this wall and uh, let's walk back here and see what we got going on i've been here for about 10 15 minutes now <clears throat> i want to say uh taped up uh, the the door knobs here because this door is brand new and I, I wasn't sure about these knobs. I didn't want to get any sauce on it. And then you see that the LH Koala guys completely taped up. We're going to do this tiny little concrete pad. Of course, you see up there. Okay. That's really dirty up there. And then the siding. I would say in, all in all, the siding is not that, that bad. Uh, you can see here the basement stairwell is not that that. Uh, you know not that big not a lot of steps or anything it's only what got three or four steps but so we're gonna get in there and clean this up really really good and then the final one here let me show you this side right here we're probably gonna start on this side because pretty much all the sides are equal in terms of uh dirt you see it right here a lot of mildew growing right here on the siding oh and i wanted to show you this always make sure you tape up your your box here for the ac unit you see that right there of course this ac unit i mean they should probably get a new one this one looks ancient uh but there you have it guys so we're gonna go ahead and knock this down the first thing i did when i pulled up connected to my water supply then i did my home and plant protection this is the walkthrough part that we're doing where i'm identifying certain things that i need to do look at that we're gonna need a lot of concrete brightener there at the end here to make this look really good but uh, let me put this camera away and change to a different camera and you guys can do the the five arounds with me so i'll catch you guys over there all right guys we're ready to go here make sure that you know uh, you're keeping these on hand in your truck every one of our uh, rigs has you know anywhere between 100 to 200 of these so make sure you guys are doing that here we go put that right there now i'm pretty much uh hitting the entire cul-de-sac here um you can see right here this is the house where i am and it's just a cul-de-sac so i'm gonna hit all six seven houses of the cul-de-sac so how you doing so i always say how do people be friendly 
Uh, we talk about this in customer service, you know, part of customer service is being polite to people, being friendly. So here we go, just like that. You see how I put that right between there, guys? Boom, real easy. Uh, when it comes to five rounds, you know, don't put them on uh, inside people's mailbox, that's illegal. Um, that's like a $10,000 fine in my area. And I try, if I can, to put them on the door. Look, sometimes, you know, it works out perfect to put them like this. So see how I bent it? Just like that, look. Boom, super easy. Um, don't leave them. I remember one time we hired this person to do flyers for us and they left them on the, on the floor. You don't want to do that. The wind's going to take it. And also if it rains, it gets wet. Like, I'll give you an example. Don't do this, look. You don't want to do that. That's what you don't want to do because you're also making the person, you know, have to bend over and, and pick it up. You see that right there? Bam. Okay, so that's a great tip for you guys. And you know, don't skip out on your five rounds. The entire system, guys, that was the point of the downstreaming series was to give you guys, to show you guys exactly the system. You know, oh, look at this one, guys. Perfect, look at that. Bam. The system that I utilize, you know, since I started Mr. Bubbles for me to build my brand and build my marketing up and, and all of that. So here we go right here, just like that. Look at that, super easy. And the reason why we like to put it on a door because the only person that's gonna take that off is either the homeowner or a family member. You know, no one else is gonna touch that. So that's why we do that like that. And just like that, super easy, look at that. Bam. Um, I was saying, you know, make sure you do your five rounds. Now, the job that we're doing, which is that one right there, uh, we didn't get with the five rounds. We actually got that through networking. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about it when we start the house wash. But right now, 30% of our clientele currently comes from the five rounds, right? Which Makes sense when you think about it too, guys, because you know, um, <clears throat> you're already there. People are seeing your truck, they see your uniform, they see the quality of your work. And like I said, you're right there. Remember, you know, we live in an era where, put this one right here. You guys see that right there, look. Um, consumers wanna do business with people they know, they trust and they like, so, you know, uh, since you're right there, you're next door, it's going to be a lot easier to get a customer when they see the quality of your work while you're doing it. See that right there? Put that one right there. Bam, just like that, super easy guys, look at that. All right, let me put these away here and you guys are gonna get to see me turn the machine on. The, the I'm sorry, let me turn the machine on guys and then you guys will see me on the other side. All right, like I always tell you guys, you want to start at the dirtiest side, but in this case here, I mean, pretty much every side is almost the same in terms of, uh, you know, how, how dirty it is and how much organics is on, a, on each wall. So it doesn't really matter. It didn't matter here which side I started on, but you always want to start the corner. And you guys see it, I'm going from ground to gutter. You, I, don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going to need my shooter tip here, but... <clears throat> I want you guys to keep practicing your technique of not turning the gun off. Just make sure you, you, you know, that's one of the things that new guys make up the mistake on is not, they're constantly turning the gun on and off and switching tips. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. And of course we're going to, you know, sauce up the, the things also that I'm going to be doing off camera. Um, so, I don't want this video to be too long since this is just a down streaming series. <clears throat> now, I uh, also wanted to uh, make this announcement. Our, not, our next series, I'm already gathering, I've already been putting together all the equipment for our, um, what is that thing called? Enclosed trailer build series that we're gonna be doing. I would say I already got about 30, 40% of the stuff together and that's going to be coming up towards the end of the summer because next week i'm going on vacation 
and I'm still waiting on a lot of things to come in on that and you know in the next couple of days after this video this week that we're in is going to be the end of the downstreaming series man this series went by quick guys and I'm really happy with this series because I've been wanting to show you guys of course you know you guys have seen plenty of houses where I downstreamed and you guys already knew you know exactly how how to do that and how I do that but what I wanted to show you guys kind of showcase for you guys in this series more than anything was the system right we talk a lot about system and that was the point the whole point of this series was to show you guys a system that you guys can copy and use in your own company that's going to help you guys become more successful in what you do on a day-to-day -day basis right because that's where consistency the quality of the work that's where it comes from having a systematic way of doing things so you guys see that right there and of course you know we talk about this as well when you're downstreaming it's divided into three parts i'm doing phase number one right now which is the sauce phase and then once i'm done all four sides soaping up all four sides then i'll switch to the spot treating phase where you know i might there might be a couple of spots on a house where i have to sauce up again and we usually do that with our shooter tip which will give it a little bit more more of a punch a little bit more of a well, a little bit more pressure with that and that's why we use our shooter tip for the spot treating phase so you guys just saw we finished the the five rounds here so oh right there that's pretty good we'll let that sit remember there's a dwell time also wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things one how much this job is and two uh, I kind of teased it earlier how we actually picked up this customer so this I'm the so according to the office manager I'm actually the third technician of you know of, of Mr. Bubbles from our company to come to this house of course this is my first time coming here oh right there missed that one spot right here full of green right there oh really nasty down there um so this is our third time and we got this client six years ago for the very first time and believe it or not this came from a property management company so we have you know about oh careful here it's slippery we have approximately 20 20 to 30 property managers that we work with you know from time to time and they'll call us and they got properties they want us to do oh right there a little bit of mildew and some, a little bit of mold growing right here on this brick so we'll let that sit for a little bit and we'll hit that with a little bit of pressure also at the very end so anyway um property management you know it's something that uh you 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 get through networking that's how we got hooked up with this company oh sorry about that guys blowing right back at me all this solution is we stand over here that's a little bit better uh networking guys is something i talk a lot about man it's one of the things i mentioned the most for you oh that window sill right there nasty one of the things that i mentioned the most on my channel you know the power of networking and that's important for you guys you know to understand you know if you really want to take your company to the next level you gotta develop the ability to network now we got this property management company because of a, a networking group that we're a member of that group meets every Tuesday at a local baseball stadium thing here that we have, like a, a breakfast thing for entrepreneurs like uh, like myself. It's something I've been a member of, I wanna say, 
man for this might be my fifth year it's either my fourth or my fifth year on that oh also this not forget to do the concrete there we go pea gravel concrete guys we're going to be doing a lot of that by the way in our um, concrete cleaning series that's coming up as well before the end of the summer as well so anyway so networking is how we got this customer because it's a property management company now through the years this one property management company we've done hundreds of jobs guys not one or two or three or four but hundreds of jobs for this one company right including this house here which i just said is our third time being here and we literally we didn't even have to come and do the estimate because we just looked it up in our crm program and we what i'm doing right now we do this every two years for this company right so we're in 2024 guess what in 2026 myself or one of my technicians is going to be back here doing this all over again so you know networking a big part of what we do and by the way this job right here 899 dollars for this small driveway that small uh, basement stairwell that i showed you there on camera and this house here which i think i think the office manager said was like 1300 square feet around there I mean, it's tiny you guys see the things tiny not that big really and again you know we talk about pricing of course you know guys i've mentioned this i don't even know how many times now you know um you want to make sure you get your pricing right you guys can email me i have a pricing guideline that we put together at the beginning of the season for you guys so super cookie cutter most of it is uh it's really dirty down there but we can get it with water it's not organic it's just mud i never i never never you know uh put spray chemical if i don't need it and i don't need it right now right there because it's not organic right but up there look at that up there's the one spot where i'm probably going to need my shooter tip so let's change over to my shooter tip and, and i want you guys to notice and you guys can go back and see what i'm talking about guys since i started doing the wash of this house which was what 15 20 minutes ago that's the first time that I, I let go of the gun i did this whole house without letting go of the gun including the concrete and that's what i'm talking to you guys about so you guys saw i'm done with phase one now i am on to phase two which you guys already know is the spot treating phase so i'm just hitting any spot that still kind of looks kind of funky look i got caught up on a the stump there boom done that's what i'm doing guys on uh, any spot that still looks kind of black or green that's what i'm doing right there put a little bit there and that chimney up there has got some smoke um not damaged but you know burnt onto the brick there can't do anything about that but this mildew down here we can get it with pressure at the end a little bit of tiger striping I don't know if you can see that really good there on the on the gutters of course they have gutter helmet by the way so that's typical you're gonna have tiger striping when you're doing um you know when you have gutter helmets because tiger striping that's where it comes from oh right there so anyway going back to the marketing guys and the system make sure you follow the system because you know like i was saying about networking it's part of the system marketing system that i have for you guys i got snagged up on something over there but that's good enough for me to get to right here right there so you see this entire house guys i only switched um oh right here i only switched 
my uh, from my tip once, right? I only turned the gun off once to switch to my shooter tip. You see that? So I want you guys to make sure you practice that because it's going to make you faster out in the field. It's going to shave like 10 to 15 minutes off your time if you do that. All right. Now I'm going to switch back to. Let me see if I can put my line out. Oh, there you go. A little bit of pressure before. That's why I couldn't do it. Probably got snagged up on the on the gate. Um, because I, I I wanted to switch back to my uh, my shooter tip just to get a little bit more sauce on the concrete. Right there on this door. This concrete down here is pretty bad. Right there. And get your pricing right, you know. Get your pricing right, guys, because at the end of the day, this little job here is only going to take me, you know, an hour and 45 minutes at best. You know, tops, I would say. You know, for 800 bucks, 900 bucks. For 899 for this little job. Not bad. I'll take that. There you go. So that's it guys we finished phase one and phase two which was the spot treating you notice i mean there's not any any all the mildew from before right here we had done uh, the walkthrough right here it's all gone there's nothing left on this wall and the solution is still doing its thing but what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch to water and uh, i'll catch you guys on uh, on the flip side guys quick announcement i've created a digital product called mr bubbles business in a box check this out okay so the mr bubbles business in a box is actually a a thumb drive that we're going to send to you guys to your physical address and when you get this thumb drive you're going to see a folder that's called box in it and and then when you open it you're going to see all of these files right here guys all of these folders and guys this thing has over 500 files anything and everything i've ever created from my business so all of the blueprints, uh, training modules, documents, all of the things that you guys constantly email me about, you know, your pricing PDF, your, um, your for example, you know, your, your marketing blueprints, anything that you could, you could need for your businesses in here. That's why we call it a business in a box. One of the things that I really like about this is, guys, check out all of these pictures. So you have a total of 300 before and after pictures that you guys can add to your website and your Facebook and your Google My Business and check this out. So there's a folder called Google SEO and, and the pictures already have the SEO words in them. And this one photo right here has over 300. This specific folder has 190 pictures, but all in all, it's over 300 pictures. Look at some of these pictures, guys. Amazing before and afters. Pictures for you guys to be able to add to all of your social medias and whatnot. This is going to help you get a lot of customers. And of course, your edible postcards are on here. And then finally, you got training videos on here as well, guys. Like for example, uh, the video on how to optimize your Google My Business, um, the Mr. Bubbles. You got several videos, so they're like training modules. You got all the PDFs. The bottom line, guys, is this. This is going to help you with your business. So don't miss out. Make sure that you email us so you can get your business in a box today. In order to get your business in a box, you just got to hit the link in the description of this video. And I say this all the time on the channel, guys. The more you know, the more you grow. That's how come I decided to create this business in a box because it has everything in there you need to be able to grow your business. And I really, really believe that this is going to be a game changer for you. Guys, you do not, you do not want to miss out on this one. Okay, guys, so remember when you first switch to water, you're going to have about 30 seconds of solution still that's trapped in your line. So make sure, especially if you're hitting plants or something like that, you know, make sure you pay attention to that because you could be putting um, chemical on plants. Then after about 30 seconds, it switches 100% to water, and then it will, you know, be good for rinsing. And the goal, you know, when you're doing a house wash, at the very end, well, I wanna show you guys this. 
right here that's that's textbook gutter striping right there guys see it right up there gutter striping and then right here of course you can't see but you know like i said he's got gutter helmet so all of the bacteria debris from the roof you know come straight straight on there straight onto the it doesn't go in a gutter most of it just goes you know go goes over the gutter and ends up uh doing that so anyway i was saying about rinsing guys you want to make sure that at the very end the house the plants the windows are chemical free all right no chemical anywhere if you do that on a consistent basis guess what guys you're never going to have any issues you're never going to be dealing with you know callbacks maybe like you know two or three houses out of a thousand that you do something like that because if when you leave a house a little bit of bird poop right there when you leave a house right if there's no more chemical on that wall and you took all the chemical out of the plants well you oh right there guys look i want to show you this see the how i'm spraying the camera from afar so there's not a problem with getting the camera wet you just can't hit it with any kind of pressure so yeah so anyway you know uh you want to make sure that you know you don't leave any chemical anywhere because that way you know the customer is not calling you you know two three days later complaining about you know weird stains on the wall or um or that the plants look weird or they're dying like i said if you remove the chemical from you know from everywhere including the windows you know you're never you're never gonna get get those calls or very rarely where you get those calls remember the little little area right there i said was full of mud there you go and again i mean look how much water that's why when you rinse you rinse from the top to the bottom just imagine how much water that wall is getting right now right it's like triple quadruple the amount of water that it got during the during the chemical phase right you see that watering the plants it's okay to get chemical on plants honestly it's unavoidable especially you know uh, like today's a little bit windy so you're gonna get a, a bit of overspray what you can't do is leave the chemical on the plants then they will die if you do that and typically what i do is i do about 10 to 15 seconds per plant but these are really tiny they're not bushes so we're just going to do five seconds so you see that one two three four five 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 and moving on i hear this vent's got some leaves little debris from leaves that are uh, stuck in it on it already cleaned that out this wall's good to go and remember to practice guys your you know your master technician um techniques not turning the gun off constantly these are the things that i've seen through the years like when i train you uh, uh pressure washing technician technician this is the, one of the biggest mistakes i see them making turning the gun on and off of course i showed you guys there phase one not to spend too much time on a wall you know you just hit it with sauce and go and i'm not even pay attention like you see look my hand i don't have a watch on me or anything I, so i don't know how long this is taking me but this 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 type of house wash here shouldn't take you more than 45 minutes right and you know i'm i'm probably going to take a little bit less and you got to remember you know i'm dilly dallying with the camera you know goofing around with you guys a little bit but if i wasn't most likely i'd be done already with the house and starting on the driveway right oh right there look at that from afar cleaning the camera the chemical off the camera and by the way um i've gotten this question before so what's interesting is about cameras right and in all the years that we've been doing this of course you know cameras like these they're fairly new like within the last 
six, seven years, you see them popping up, you know, your ring cameras and all that. But we've never had an issue ever. Even before when we, you know, we didn't tape stuff up, never had an issue with camera ever. Never destroyed a camera except the ring camera. Like these cameras up here, we've never had a single issue. So we don't bother with those because, because you guys got to remember something, you know, um, we've done over 32,000 homes since we started Mr. Bubbles. And I mean, to never have an issue, this right here, I'm going to hit it with my uh, pressure tip at the end when I'm doing the concrete. So I'm not going to, so I don't have to switch tips with that right now. Yeah, guys, never had an issue with that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But, you know, your home and plant protection, like I, like I show you guys, you know, these uh, Verizon boxes. Oh, my God. Before I started doing this, I had nothing but headaches with that stuff. Before I started wrapping them. Oh, you know what guys, since we're getting to the end here, I wanted to mention something else too. You know, um, with your pricing, we've been talking a lot about pricing. You guys as new guys, make sure that you have a, um, a, a, a minimum that you charge for your service, okay? Now, um, as a new guy, I would recommend your, your minimum. Let's say, I mean, I'm talking bare bones minimum should be 250 bucks. Like our bare bones minimum right now is $299, okay? But you should have a minimum price for your services, you know, because, oh, really a mud hut right there, like a wasp mud hut. You know, um, if for example, you know, when I send you guys the, the blueprint, right? The pricing guideline blueprint, and you see on there that it says, you know, let's say, you know, it tells you to charge. How you doing? Let's say it tells you to charge 15 cents a square foot. You know, but the house, let's say you're, you're pricing out a house and it's a thousand square foot. You're not going to charge 150 bucks for that, right? You're going to charge 250 or 299, which should be your minimum. Like I, like I just said, our bare bones minimum is 299. So, you know, the other day, I mentioned that because the other day I did a wash. Uh, it was a 900 square foot house and it was a $299 wash. And that's because, you know, not anything to do with, um, ooh, a little bit of dirt that, that came down from the gutter. Not anything to do with the um, square footage price. That's just our bare bones minimum. You see, you see what I'm saying with that? So make sure that you guys do the same thing. You follow that blueprint so you get your pricing right. That's a big part of, you know, building a successful company is getting, uh, getting your pricing right. So let's step aside here so we can do some rinsing. These plants, remember I told you uh, I have a plant list of all the finicky plants and I can also send that to you guys. Make sure you guys email me for your pricing guideline and also your plant list of plants that you know you need to pay special attention to this list was you know acquired by me through years working out in the field i think i want to say there's 10 plants on there oh a little bit of mud down here look at this guy. oh i just noticed that it's not stopping so it must have a, a rotten piece of wood in there so you want to make sure that uh, you have that list as well so you know what plants to look out for. All right. The number one plant that dies the most when you put chemical on it is, uh, for example, your rose bushes. So those have to be rinsed extra good. You guys can't see this on camera, but I, I got a neighbor coming up. He's going to want to ask for pricing. See the importance, guys, of your five rounds? I'll stop spraying so you can see them middle of my camera he's walking towards me right there he's gonna ask me for price so anyway let me go ahead and end this guys i really appreciate you as always been having tons of fun with this series with you guys and uh 
email me guys uh, remember next episode is the last one of the series so you know i hope you guys uh, have been enjoying and learning a lot from the series email me for the resources i'll email everyone back i love that part of my life now absolutely one of the best parts of my life is where i get to interact with you guys and uh, i look forward to all of these series because i mean it's a great benefit to you guys and to me as well because we're building this amazing community together and uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel because in the next couple of days the other one's coming out which is the last episode and uh and yeah i'm gonna continue to build these series for you guys but uh but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bubbles out all right before i let you guys go quick update so the guy that came what you guys saw in the video there the neighbor was walking towards us so i went over there gave him a quote guys I always talk about this all the time and I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but make sure guys, make sure you're doing your five rounds because I actually picked up the neighbor here, 899, small driveway, small house, small patio and a small um, basement stairwell and we already got a team on their way to go do that. And it all came from that five around guys because remember I told you, people want to hire companies they know, they trust, and they like. So make sure that you're getting out there. And then I came back and I rinsed the windows really good and the plants and finished all the rinsing, finished up all the concrete here uh, as well. Guys, $899 for an hour and 40 minutes worth of work. I'll try to put up some before and after pictures here for you guys so you can see you know the work that was made guys i tell you all the time make sure guys make sure that you're working the system that was the whole point of the of, of the series is to show you guys a system that's copyable that you guys can go out there follow my example and guys you're gonna see a great results for it and remember this guys i tell you guys this all the time guys the more you know the more you'll grow